Does everyone recognize these Rosh Hashanahs, otherwise known as the Jewish New Year, Yom Kippur, Sukkot, Tabernacles? If any of this is new to you, I would encourage you to look into the significance of what these feasts mean, because whether it's the Jewish religion or a Muslim or not, I mean, everybody can understand how significant New Year's is for most people worldwide or, or the Christmas holiday. Some of what we do, if you're wondering why, when we do what we do is there's a time, there's a sequence for all things. And if we're on the right road, as the saying goes, but we're faced in the wrong direction, we can still get run over. And if we're on the right road, but we're not keeping pace, as it were, we still could be missing the mark and be overtaken or run off the road. We make our decisions based on what the good book has told us, both in the old and the new. In terms of anything that we're doing, we encourage any of you, if you've got any question at all, where, where do you get that? Where did you learn that? And how is that a principle and applied? So if you've never read our investment policy, for example, why we both give and do what we do in terms of philanthropy and investing, every bit of it comes right out of the word. It's pretty cool. What just so happens in terms of what we do and when we show up, you might recall in the springtime was a rededication. That was around Pentecost. Bottom line, we're talking spiritual renewal. We're talking about community and family and cultural traditions and theological beliefs. You know, how does our faith show up in the marketplace on the other six days besides the Sabbath? You know, we're supposed to rest for a reason. It was one of the 10 links in, in terms of the original 10 commandments. It's just as important as murder and false witness. Are we resting? As Stephen Covey would refer to it, are we sharpening the saw? And the seventh habit really lends itself to rest. That's so important of us. Most of us are burnt out. I'd be the first one to admit, I have to take better care of Dale this year, or I might not see the finish line. It's not certainly not for thinking or lack of desire. I just won't have enough in the tank. We all need an oil change now and again. Stuff requires maintenance, but we'd like to certainly highlight that what we do is not arbitrary in any sense of the word, that we're very much paying attention what, what dad's doing and what time it is in the world right now. And we are so hopeful because we have solutions that the world just cannot offer in any shape or form. Mm -hmm.